What's up, everyone? Hey, check it out. <gasps> See that? That's crazy. I saw that. It's a Hawaiian monk seal, but we're going to talk about that a little later. Um, we're also going to talk about Marquesian tattoos from the Marquesas Islands. Um, we also have some tattoo highlights. So first, as you could see, bam, right there. Um, it's an older tattoo I did uh, a while back, but it's a female tattoo with some contemporary design in it. Okay, next, what else we got? Um, here's another one, and we got a baby in the background. You can hear maybe. Um, okay, so this Polynesian tattoo, I'm gonna talk about this one and this leg piece. And there's something that all these three have in common um, because they're Polynesian tattoos. They also have some Marquesian elements in it, and we're gonna discuss that. And we're also gonna talk. We're also gonna have a tattoo tutorial where I kind of draw it out and kind of talk it through. So, yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. What's up, everybody? Welcome to To Talk. My name is Josh. I'm the host, and we're here with Robert. Hello, hello. What up, Robert? So um, before we start the show, guys, this is a live show called To Talk or Tat Talk. We call it To Talk. We never went over this in a while, but mm -hmm. it's kind of a play on words because tatau is the, the word for tattoo in almost all of Polynesia. Mm -hmm. But um, tatau is, you know, the the tapping t yeah tat 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 ta ta whatever you know so like to talk to talk so this is to talk welcome to to talk this is a live show so that we can engage with you guys talk story and have you guys um ask questions and comment throughout the show if you have any questions about what we're discussing and we also want you guys to share where you guys come from and your culture this is a platform that we can kind of perpetuate the culture our histories and um, the art form of tattooing yeah. throughout Polynesia and a way that I can personally share what I've learned in the past 20 years of tattooing and actually learn from you guys. Hopefully you guys can engage and you guys have been. So thanks a lot for that. Um, we're also going to be doing giveaways, guys. So we're going to do three giveaways throughout the show. All you have to do is make a comment. Just make a comment. You know what? Just say aloha or how's like it or Tony and Carla. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. What's going on, Holy. guys? Thanks a lot. Um, and now you guys are entered in the raffle. So, yeah. or we can't say raffle. The opportunity drawing. To win, yeah. <laughs> opportunity. You guys can get a drawing to win. We're gonna be doing a t-shirt, a temporary tattoo packet, and also what else we have? We have the shirt, t temporary. Decals. And at the end, a t-shirt. Oh, oh, the decals. A decal packet, yeah. T-shirt, and a temporary tattoo, tattoo. packet. Yeah. But that's throughout the show. So just make uh, make a comment, and then you guys are entered into that. Also, um, we're going to start giving away a 50% off discount code. 50% off. Which is crazy. It's really crazy. But I want to give back to you guys that are supporting the show because – it's a community that we're creating here mm -hmm. and it's a way to give back and thank you guys for doing that. So we're going to start off the first couple weeks. I'm going to give you guys a code right here in the beginning of the show. But as the season progresses, I'm going to wait and give that 50% off code in random times in the show. So, you know, just to ensure that you guys are watching the show. Yeah. So the coupon code this week is going to be TAPA. Tapa. That's T A P A. Tapa. Is there a capital just in case? Uh, you can put any. Oh, it lowercase matter. capital don't matter. But so if you go to the website on intat.com, if you go to the shop tab and click on that, you can order shirts. And at the end, there's a coupon code section. You can type in Tapa and you get 50%. Off. That's huge. That's crazy. All those shirts are flying like that, too. That's crazy. But Christmas time, mm -hmm. you know, it's great for gifts. We got two new colors like that. that they didn't know. Oh, we got a new design. Yeah, well, not a new design, but we have a new colors yeah. and material. It's kind of like it's nice, good, nice yeah, material, nice. Um, but really limited quantities. 
damn 50 percent off that's go check crazy. it out grab them so to talk sponsored by island tat that's right <laughs> all right Thank so you, island tat. there you go and you know what we're gonna do from everyone that went ahead do you have the raffle tickets from last week in the container no Okay, well, we are gonna we're gonna pick <laughs> someone from last week. Remember, we talked about that. No. <laughs> well, we're gonna do it. Okay, so, we're gonna do it. So Robert is gonna randomly pick um, anyone that made a comment from last week's we'll show. Look at that right now. I'm looking <laughs> right now. He's gonna like probably just pick on the screen and close his eye. I don't know how he's gonna do it, but it's gonna be random. Mm -hmm. And they're and they're gonna get the decal packet. That's okay. what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start off the show doing that um and before or as he's getting that we are going to um just to give you guys an idea Ready? you got it yeah bobby okay. ford who bobby ford okay congratulations bobby, bobby ford. ford okay so bobby ford made a comment last week he was in the show i mean he engaged with us during the show so he's gonna win the decal packet um what's the decal pack you you got a photo of the decals yeah we have a photo of the decal let me pull it up real quick. It's right here. I don't know if and that's just it. a hula girl, but there's also like a warrior and yeah. other things in the packet. So, hey, big. congrats, Bobby. Yeah. And let's get on with the show. So before we start um, going through the Pacific and talking about motifs and designs and tattoos, let's start off with current events. Current events. And Robert, take it current away. Current events. This week, we everything went viral pretty much with this poor little seal having a eel in his no see that five times um what we do know about this monk seal is that they're endangered and the biggest thing is this happened two years ago so what ha happened is they found the seal with the eel on his nose and then it started happening more and more often so what was crazy to them is like how's this happening so there's multiple e um um monk seals that they found with yeah, eels with in eels, the nose yeah when their nose so what they were trying to understand look at that is, guys yeah is how does it happen because they do hunt eels and fish and octopus, but when they hunt them, they burrow their faces into the coral or the sand, and they think, well, maybe the eels would swim in their nose. But naturally, their noses have muscles strong enough to close on their own that nothing could swim in. That's nasty. Yeah. So what they're thinking is, is like everybody's done in their life has um, thrown up or they've eaten and choked like on water, yeah. and it comes out your nose. So what they're thinking is that the seals are throwing up and the eels are coming out their nose while they're like throwing up. So it gets stuck. So eventually they slowly kept going more and more and more. So that's the whole thing with them right now. And also we have another current event that we hit today, actually, actually news today is that Hawaii's importing four brown tree snakes to Hawaii for to train dogs to detect snakes. I don't know how you could detect a snake, but they're training them because I guess in Guam, they had the brown tree snake almost wipe out all their bird population. So they don't want that to happen. Yeah, in yeah. And in Hawaii, what I learned, uh, there's nothing there that could kill you. There's no poisonous animals or reptiles. Uh, so. A boar, maybe getting you in the leg and the thigh when you're hunting. I outrun a boar. And then, no, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is interesting in Hawaii. Yeah. There, I mean, but snakes. Like I used to think, like everywhere I went, there was gonna be spiders and snakes. And right, right. They're like, no, there's nothing here that, like, to do that. That's like, bad though. The brown tree snake. Growing up in Guam, my dad told me. Well, my dad grew up in Guam, and he he always told us about the brown tree snake mm -hmm. and how it would come up the toilet. Oh, can you imagine being on the toilet and like it is getting a surprise? <laughs> You're like, I can't I'm, imagine. Like that. they're concentrating. Like, come on, <laughs> that's bad. Um. Anyways, that's interesting. Yeah. Animal. So current events with animals. Animals, <laughs> yes, this week. Um, so what's up? Oh, how's it, Kayla? Uh, our fam out in Texas. What's up, Kayla? Uh, Tony, Lamb, um, Ollie. I hope I say that right. She's always watching from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Don, Lisa, Auntie Sherry, Howie, Rao. Hey, what's up, everyone? Thanks for watching, Taylor, Ryan. Um, Ryan said the Island Tat hat available. Yes, it is. It is available online. Wait, We're not doing that one? as a giveaway. We actually have multiple hats online. Yeah. Not this one, though. Oh, he's asking if that one. Not That's a good one, one yeah. huh? Not this that's one. a Robert yeah. creation right yeah. there. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's that's nice. Uh, also, Ralph says free sleeve giveaway. You know, may, maybe. May, maybe one day. If you day, can sit through it. May, 
Well, one they'll run. sit. They'll one sit run. through it. They'll <laughs> sit through it. They'll sit through it. Um, but we'll figure something out. We'll That'd figure cool. something out with yeah. a tattoo, you know, giveaway or something. Uh, we give a lot of stuff away though, so we really gotta. I don't know. We gotta figure that out. But anyways, uh, Sharpie. Eileen, how's it? Um, Sharpie sleeve and... tattoo giveaway. I think that's better. Sharpie. Yeah, we're gonna do something, guys. Mm. Where all of all of ev- everyone watching and everyone w- that wants to, um, I guess, uh, join in on this, we can. We're we're thinking about doing a live show and making it kind of exciting and yeah. kind of doing a big thing. So we'll figure that out because the show is growing. Um, what Don say? You should give that hat away as a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> and you just get a laugh out of that okay i love this hat man <laughs> it is nice i like it um all right guys so uh that's the that's the current event yeah. now let's get into the marquesas island marquesas did i say that right marquesas, marquesas. yeah Ooh. so we're gonna start off by location of marquesas islands which is right here you could see the map oh. um if you look on the north side uh, on the top that's hawaii down to the bottom left, you see New Zealand and Cook Island. I mean, uh, Rapa Nui in the far right. Marquesas is up near the center, like up a little higher. You could see mm-hmm. it. That's a good um, uh, visual as far as where Marquesas Islands are located within the Polynesian Triangle. And it's important because Marquesas Islands is said to be where some of the first Polynesians, um, you know, first settled out of Southeast Asia back in like 100 BC. Jeez. So it's important. I mean, as far as the roots of Polynesia go. And so I want you guys to see the designs. So we're just kind of going to show you the way the tattoos and designs looked in comparison to others. I mean, we during the show, we talked about Hawaiian, Samoan, um, New Zealand, uh, tattoo designs and yeah, they have a certain look well well marquesian tattoos have a certain look as well which is different mm-hmm. than the rest so let's take a look at that so as you can see it's real black block like a lot of block you know yeah. areas that are that are black <laughs> filled black um and it is has that, a distinct look is that tap too yes all those? Hand wow tap. it's all hand tap huh. So I want you to take a look at that. There's also, is there another picture of a design? So this also is designs, Whoa. tattoo designs. And those are like drawings of people or? That's the legs. Yeah, I mean like, but like. Uh, motifs? Yeah. It's all kinds of things. And we're oh, going to talk about okay. what kind of designs that they would depict out of nature and other things. That's crazy. Um, so this is a close up of the Marquesas Islands. Mm-hmm right here and as you can see it's close to tahiti oh which is the society islands the archipelago and marquesas is six islands but it's also close to tuamotu which is like real real close to it so all these islands kind of have the same look as far as the tattoos Mm -hmm. now when we went to tahiti um we met with a lot of the locals and this individual here you could see his tattoos and it looks oh. Marcasian. But he was from Tuamotu. This is Ariki Marangai from the kingdom of Tuamotu. So he was a chief in tu- Tuamotu. And if you could see the, the way that his tattoos look, it looks Marcasian. Mm-hmm. So it's very similar. And obviously they're still tattooing like that today. You know, obviously. But with machine? Or the gun? I, you know, or... honestly with him, I'm not sure. I we couldn't there was a communication yeah. barrier because okay. he was from Tuamotu, which they're i mean I'd be, he didn't even speak english at all i would be scared to talk um, him, period i mean it, it was it's pretty intimidating yeah, it, it was intimidating and mm. here's another picture with uh both of them both these chiefs and again wow. you could see the look of their tattoos mm-hmm. similar this is the marcasians and these guys actually were the they were kind of like bodyguards not bo- i mean we would say bodyguards but they they Stood watched as, over yeah. Nui as Ali Nui traveled throughout Tahiti in his meetings and ceremonies and that's and traditional for them right like yeah, yeah i mean and that that club that war club that 
that he's holding is is um seen here this is what it looks like and this is a marcasian war club Whoa. so you know he's holding that artifact or or that that weapon and again you could see the similarity so the reason why i'm just showing all of all of the the similarities of the artwork and everything mm -hmm. is because there's tahitian tattooing marcasian tattooing it's it's different but it's so similar okay so i don't want to mix it mm -hmm. together but i do want to show the similarities in them and hopefully you guys can understand that um and then also there's a bunch of different artifacts that show um the well, that, style that piece that he had was that a, um like for status or was that for like battle no that's battle that's Ooh. that's but i i believe it is a chiefly a chief club mm -hmm. the chiefs would hold that club um so anyways that's that's just the artwork that's just the artwork so to give you an idea of mm -hmm. what it looks like now uh before we get into um our tattoo tutorial there was some comments right so what what are some comments that someone asked um <laughs> if you could read that yeah i gotta i'm gonna have to read that okay so so let's see is there symbolism for not having family on ricky rogers and this was asked in the last show is there symbolism for not having um family or tribe i'm adopted have no history no way to claim who i am um, the reason why I like this question and so that I can kind of explain my take on it, obviously, I don't know all the answers. Yeah. I'm learning myself. But every consultation that I have, everyone has their own story. And that's what's really important about Polynesian designs is that when you simply say it tells your story on your skin, you know, with symbols, it's not just black and white. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's deep. Every symbol yeah. in Polynesia has meanings, but a lot of it had meaning within its own culture. So if you were from Marquesas Islands, a certain symbol there would mean something to your genealogy, your family, who you are there. Uh, today, we are mixing everything. There's Polynesian. So a Hawaiian could get Hawaiian symbols, Samoan symbols, and Marquesian mm -hmm. tattoos. I, yeah, that makes sense. And mix it all in. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone does it differently. Everyone does it differently. There's no right or wrong. It's an individual um, interpretation of that. So because of that, because we're not doing everything traditional now. Mm -hmm. So because of that, as far as uh, Ricky's um, question goes, I would sit down and have to really talk to him and find out who he is and where his heart is. Yeah, Obviously, he's him. adopted, so he doesn't know his genealogy. Um, but... If he's attracted and drawn to Polynesia, there's a reason for that. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a reason why he's doing, he's pulling him. Right, it's like pulling you home. If not, and it's kind of like his spirit, mm -hmm. you know. And and because of that, there is a connection, and I would find that connection through the consultation and kind of create his own story. Mm -hmm. And Ricky, if you're listening, um, I don't. I don't know of any particular symbol for not having family or a tribe because every culture was different. And I, I, you know, I don't even know if they had that. Well, maybe that's, that's part of his story too, is uh, being lost and finding his way. Right. And, and as we would do a consultation, mm -hmm. we would kind of go through that. And yeah, that makes sense because there's, there's a deeper, there's something more deep than just that question with him and with all um, clients and that's what i tell everyone when yeah. you come in for a tattoo you know some people say it's kind of like therapy or whatever but i guess it kind of is because we go deep into your story and we allow the motifs and symbols in the tattoo we're creating to help heal um get past things give yeah. you strength um perseverance in your own life to reach goals to remember or honor your ancestors if someone passed you know all these different things and that's why it's individual that's well, that's, that's exactly and, that, and that's why. what's great about any i mean people should realize the artwork you get on yourself is they should be reminders you know, reminding you to stay on track or push you through those hard times right you know that's 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 so great about it even this culture you know like you said all the symbols i've seen you hop around to different islands it's almost a reminder to you and the people around you of what you are. 
Right, I, right. And they can read that. I think that's why people yeah. are drawn to it. Um, so let's go to another question. We had a, co- a question here from Alan and Kevin uh, Schmidkoffer. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. Thank Sorry. You um, would love to know the meaning of the symbols and how they are put together to create or represent a person's story or life. And that is a whole show. That's a whole 10 shows in itself. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, Whoa. That's what the show's about yeah. pretty much. But let me let me real quick give you I guess I can give you a quick example because it comes to my mind and it's and it's very simple. So can we switch to this camera? I want to I want to show you how you could take symbols and create, I guess, a story. But we're going to be we're going to do this really quick. So uh, this symbol right here. This symbol right here uh, represents a person, okay? So, Inata or man. And there's many different variations of this. So, if, and I don't don't know if you guys could see it, but um, that's the head, the two arms and the legs. Uh, This right here would be male. Oh, okay. That right there would be female. Oh. So if a person came in and just got married and wants to, you know, um, I guess memorialize that mm-hmm. or, or um, say show the importance of his marriage that he just had or what, whatever he wants in his own story, then part of his tattoo could be this and then. And th- this is a common symbol. So if you guys are into Polynesian tattoos, you've seen it. And again, I just want to say that it's not perfect because I'm just drawing on the fly real quick with these markers. But uh, this could be a sign of unity between two or marriage. And all I did was put another person, a female, right here on top, the male on the bottom. And together, that's uh, uh, creating unity between them two. So... That's a quick a quick example for you guys. That's a that's just a real quick idea of how you can create meaning with motifs, but it goes really deep. R- like that's seconds right there, but it goes really deep. And obviously someone ha- that has a story, there's siblings, there's uh, where you're from, your culture, mm-hmm. everything, and that can all be depicted in symbols. So another comment. What's another comment? here okay so and sherry says is there a difference in the type of ink that is used how do we know the artist is using good ink are we allowed to ask questions before we get tattooed or is all the is all the ink the same okay so a question about ink um as far as that goes everyone has a preference of ink something to think about as far as me i've used so many different black inks mm-hmm. um Just think of it this way. If uh, a black is going to be really, really black, it's going to have thick pigment. Like you're going to have really thick pigment and the black is going to be the darkest black so that when it heals, it's super black. But the downfall on that is that if you have a really, really dark black ink, then it's going to be harder to get into the skin. It's not as liquid and fluid um, to get into. It still will get in the skin, but it's harder to work with. If you have a real thin black yeah. that gets in real easy, but it's but then that's the downfall. It's going to be really thin and not dark. Mm-hmm. So you're going to want to kind of meet in the middle or whatever works for you. Do people take care of their tattoos? Does that play a big role? Or? Huge role. Huge role. Um, always remember that uh, this is what I heard. 20 seconds in direct sunlight mm-hmm. of a fresh tattoo within two weeks will fade a degree lighter for the rest of the tattoo. Oh. So the UV rays in the sun kill a tattoo and all tattoos will be blue or green after it heals. It's the degree of blue or green. So it could be super, super, super dark blue or, or green, oh, okay. uh, which looks black mm-hmm. uh, just because of the chemical reactions in your mm-hmm. blood and all that. But you want to stay out of the sun and it all plays a factor. 
you yeah. know and this is good for i guess people getting tattoos or tattoo artists to know um the quality of ink definitely makes a difference so get good quality ink oh wow yeah um, and there's a lot out there, so it all depends how your artist wants to. Are any it. recommendations you want to throw out there? Or I personally like Panthera um, Black. Mm -hmm. It's dark, but it's not hard to work with. Uh, there's darker inks out there, but I've had a little harder time to work with, which in turn creates a lot more chewing up of the skin oh, okay. because you're trying to work it in there. Again, uh, this is just. Everyone's preference. gonna be preference. Mm -hmm. The type of machine you use, all of that is just crazy. There's a lot that goes to it. Um, so you got a tattoo artist from ten years ago, and it started to fade. With the will the artist redo it for free, um, or is there a fill in charge? That's every artist is different. So uh, if someone comes to me and they didn't heal it right, I'm gonna charge them to to redo it. But if uh, like how would you know? Like how would you know if he'd, he'd you could tell as an artist you could tell if they didn't take care of it or if you messed up. Okay. So, I guess that's you know everyone's preference again or every artist's preference. And then we have uh, Joshua asking for design tips. So that's what the whole show is about. Also, design tips. <laughs> so just stay tuned for the tattoo tutorial and we kind of talk about designs. So I just wanted to show you guys. Those questions, comments to give you guys an idea of anything that you guys want to ask or any questions you have. Uh, Don wanted to say it's a tattoo, not a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. That's why we have a whole show on it <laughs> so that you know. A haircut, I'm really picky about my hair, just saying. Some people are. I'm, I'm, but it grows back. Yeah, it does. That's true. the important thing. Yeah, it's true. This is true. Um, Don has no hair, so he could just say that, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so what else we got? Okay, so that's the comments. If you guys have any questions, um, you can ask, but you can also send messages, and we have gotten some messages. If any of you guys are watching, I, I written to some people yeah. that are starting the tattoo. I even got a video from someone that showed his tattooing. and Oh, wow. How cool. Yeah, um, he was using a homemade machine, and I don't encourage that, but I can't really knock it because that's how mm -hmm. I started. Mm -hmm. But I can kind of share my my take on it you know how to do it right but he's from fiji i don't know if they have apprenticeships out there i you know oh, I, I don't know yeah. but and what if you're it, watching like and you have any questions now just throw them in there ask us yeah just ask questions yeah. that's what we're here for we're here to kind of like uh guide you guys uh in any way that we can again hey we're learning ourselves but um i've been tattooing for 20 years and doing polynesian <laughs> It's weird you say done that every thousands time. of Polynesians. So you say that, and I swear people are watching this show. Like that guy looks like he's twenty years old. Like he's well, like, I was twelve when I started. So oh, really, <laughs> if that helps, that's you know, crazy. Not really, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna that's just muddle that. up the info <laughs> so everyone don't know what's true or what's not true. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's uh let's start with the tattoo tutorial. So right. before we start with the tattoo tutorial, I want to show you guys. This is a book that you can get. Um, this is a reference that I use. So there's the information right here. Um, here's another book that another reference from Marcasian. This is Mar specifically Marcasian tattoos. Okay. A lot of good information. Um, Can and you get that like on Amazon or? I'm not sure because these tattoo books and Islander Polynesian books are really rare. Oh, I It's bet. hard to find. I bet. So... I just know these are the books that I have and then I want to give you guys information um, to use it as a reference mm -hmm. if you can find it if you're that interested you know or just hear the show and kind of hear what we say so here is some marcasian tattoo designs i showed you real quick in the beginning but here's some more that you could kind of see an idea and again i just want to uh give you guys the visual for it because at the end i'm going to show you a tattoo that possibly um looks familiar okay so here's here's these tattoos so take a look you guys are getting an idea a lot of black it's kind of like sectioned off and that's, that's okay, the all, next one all the black part that's actually that's tattoo not their skin that's ink oh it's all ink wow. and a lot of it's just blacked off blacked out wow so a lot of now this is just recounts of the tattoo history in marquesia mm -hmm. marquesas islands um they would start with the head and go down 
Oh, jeez. And the Chiefs, they say, would start from the feet and go up. Okay. So it's it's kind of different, you know. Um, now, again, these are just recounts of what is the story is yeah. told. And actually, I learned all this in the books. So if you guys get the books, you'll read that, what I'm saying Man, from, from the, the book. From the head down, I just... Um, Okay, so that's the idea. Now, was there a picture? Was there another picture in there? We've been missing some pictures, man. So basically, at at the end of that, um, there was a, there was a picture of the rocks tattoo. So the rocks tattoo is, is that no, that's that's another picture of. There you go. Boom. Oh. So take a good look the at this skills. tattoo right here. Now this is an earlier picture of the rock where he didn't have a chest piece. But if you, I, I mentioned this in the past that his tattoo isn't necessarily Samoan. Mm -hmm. And he wanted a Samoan tattoo because he is Samoan. Yes. But the style is more Marcasian Tahitian. And if you saw all the photos in the, you know, that, that we just showed, sense. it kind of looks like this style right here on his arm. So that's just to show you guys. Um, I know I mentioned it in the past, but that's kind of the idea. Mm. That they're gonna see him and be like, "Hey, I learned not to talk. That uh, you have a Marcasian tattoo." Well, I mean, he probably knows. He might know. I mean, that's why his chest design is has more Samoan in it, actually. So he he pro he might have known. Um, all right, so I want to start off with the the tattoo tutorial. Tattoo tutorial. Time. Okay, so one of the most popular designs that you might even have on you if you have a Polynesian tattoo because it's so popular is the Marcasian cross design. Now the Marcasian cross the Marcasian cross design um, is called Pekka Enana. Now I'm I'm not Marcasian and I've, I just study this stuff. I don't know it well but Pekka Enana um, or it can have two names um, Etua or Divinity or uh, Pakie, the crab. Now, I don't, again, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly. So, uh, there's multiple ways to draw it. And once I draw it, you'll know what I'm talking about. You could kind of see it forming. Um, we know it as the Marcasian cross. And there's two different names according to this book, the book that I showed you earlier. There's two different names. Um, and the two names is because it could have two meanings. And divinity, Itua, could be because this represents like the soul of a person and how they get that is when it kind of represents kind of like a crab so a crab when it sheds its uh, outer shell it has a new body so it leaves its old body and has a new body um, so if a crab leaves its old body it's almost um, it's almost like symbolism for your soul leaving your body and it's a representation of your person's soul. So um, this is the Marcasian cross. It's the most popular design, uh, maybe even the most popular Polynesian design mm -hmm. besides the spearheads. But if you have this, now there's a lot of forms and different different ways. I was asking, is there different like sizes to it? Sizes. Or? You could see this in a circle or um, there's different ways to do it too. The way that I just did it, you know, is, is one way. Um, now there's another way that it could be put together and everyone does it differently. So I guess, you know, it's preference, but if you get that book, it shows a lot. And the meaning, uh, would there's like different ones, different forms, meanings, right? Yeah. So the crab, um, again, represents a crab shedding its shell right mm -hmm. so change is like change of a new life um like a new beginning new beginning mm -hmm. or 
uh, you know, you have, I guess, when you mature, right? Yeah. So when you grow, you kind of leave the old ways and grow into a new man or a new body, um, like a crab. Mm-hmm. But it goes deeper than that. I mean, I'm I'm saying some really basic things. There's like two pages on the meaning of this in the book. But it's good that everyone knows that. Now, everyone knows this design as everyone knows this design as the uh, the Marcasian cross. OK. And another representation of it. Another representation of it could be uh, faith. So what most people know the or or say the meaning of it is mm-hmm. Christianity or God. OK. And that's kind of the same as the spearheads, right? Yeah. So the spearheads, people say that it represents a warrior, fighting spirit. And the representation that I learned was genealogy, two different meanings. So just like this one, some people say it represents Christianity or faith in God, which in Marquesas, there was no Christianity until... 1800s right Mm -hmm. so that would be a more modern take on it i'm kind of botching this up guys (laughs) because kind of i feel like i'm trying to rush because this this design is taking forever (laughs) to do so by rushing i'm messing it up more. still looks good even though you're rushing it it's it's got them skills (laughs) okay so so there you go um real quick now what i'm going to show you is another idea of this cross being put together like this you get the idea Mm -hmm. i'm all i'm all trying to like make it better okay so so if you put it side by side you could see this right here as a man so the two arms the head um the cloth what Mm -hmm. they would wear and then their legs so if we keep going there would be all these people formed holding hands and it could be like unity as well yeah so again you could see all the different ways that they use it and different ideas i've even seen this in a circle i yeah we we don't we probably don't have to do it all over again but dang that's no that's crazy but yeah, yeah you get you can even <laughs> see it um used in a circle so boom there you go um that's the marcasian cross and again it is the one of the most popular designs well i can see that where everybody would want that because everybody matures everybody grows it's kind of like yeah growing into your new mm-hmm. life or something and also like a deified ancestor like they it was the a tua or divinity that's another reason why i was used is kind of like you know just an ancestor always watching over you mm, okay. or always there for you mm-hmm. things like things like that um but again more modern take on it just like the spearheads were used in the past for genealogy Mm -hmm. or other reasons today it's used for fighting yeah warrior spirit or whatnot whatever so okay i get what you're saying let's uh let's real quick do a raffle before we move on to the tattoo highlight so old comments right yep i got a name okay so who won noel s uh i can't say his last name sorry chargolov oh chargolov chargolov yeah Noel, oh yeah, hey that. Noel, congrats, man. <laughs> Noel Chargla. No, oh, by the way, that. we're probably um, well, we are related because um, my my grandma's last name was Manabusin Chargloff. So all Whoa. all the Manabusins and all the Chargloffs are related. There, you know, it's not like cruise where it kind of splits off. And there's mm-hmm. a lot of cruises. That's just a side thing. You Chamorros, Guam uh, family out there. <laughs> anyway, um, so. Yes, congrats, uh, Noel. But stay tuned, guys. We got the T-shirt giveaway at the end. Oh, do you have a picture of a temporary tattoo? So Noel's going to get the temporary tattoo packet, but that's kind of an idea right there is one of the tattoos um, oh. that you know we have. So you could see that online, islandtat.com. And 
Like hurt yeah, you could it. you could test out some tats before you yeah. you get it, you know. Before you, you hot actually water, go do it. Really hot water. Oh, oh, kidding, oh no. you know? No, they didn't use hot water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Um, sick. Let's see. So now we're gonna do the tattoo highlights, and Ooh. I like going over these guys because everyone has their own story. Mm -hmm. So this gives a good idea for yourself if you have an idea of like your own life, your own story and how you can create meanings in it. Um, this past week, I did a lot of tattoos that weren't complete, mm. meaning people come in for sessions, they're doing sleeves, and I didn't get to complete a full tattoo. So these are kind of older tattoos, and I don't necessarily remember everything about this person's life, but I do know um, some things. So let's start off with this one here. Um, again, this is... She she definitely wanted a feather. I'm That's, not sure if she was Native yeah, American or not, it looks but nice. but she wanted the feather. She she liked the idea of a realistic feather along with some tribal. Mm. So you could see both right there, and the spearheads was her ancestry line, uh, family with the leaves on the side of the feather, and then at the very top you have the Marcasian cross. So all of these tattoos that I'm showing are gonna have something in common, and that's the Marcasian cross and how you can use that in a Polynesian tattoo. I love how that's being used right there. Like it's just it flows well. Yes. Yeah, very I like well. how it flows. Here's some other um, uh, angles. I like showing different angles so you guys could see how it flows with the body. And you get, like different ideas. People who come in, they think they have to get that certain design. Like uh, you could add, implement other stuff with it, mm -hmm. and that's and and that's what it's all about is mm -hmm. kind of showing like ideas, right? Mm -hmm. And and how you can use certain certain symbols for certain things. So that's one design, and then here's a leg piece. Oh, this is a full leg, and actually I'm not done with it. We're still working up on his thigh, but I wanted to show this one because it had some uh, Marcasian design in it. Wow. It has Hawaiian too, right down his. Right down his shin, that's Hawaiian. Um, you see the spearheads on the side. Yeah. On on this um, picture, the spearheads on the side going up. And we, then... I think what goes perfect with this picture is the comment that was just asked. It's uh, If what? you could read it by Tony Lee asking about the spears. If you see it. Okay. Uh, Tony Lee says, I have a question about the spears. I know you mentioned in the past that the spearheads continuing means genealogy continues uh when would you finish the spears and what would that represent for myself if now again guys this is island tat so this is josh this isn't like polynesian truth up there yeah you know everyone's gonna do things yeah. differently this was my path and my journey and this is why i do what i do i'm just i'm just sharing that with you so please don't take it as this is what it's supposed to be or anything mm -hmm. but uh what i feel and i what i do is if spearheads end um they don't have anything to do with genealogy with with me they they're more the modern take as you know fierce uh fighting spirit warrior police officer, military, whatever, whatever it may be with a spear and fighting, mm -hmm. um, then then I might end it. Yeah. But if it's specifically genealogy, I wouldn't end it because, you know, as far as their line ending or okay. whatever. Um, so Keone says, Josh, you got mad skills. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Hello, Keone. He didn't even know um, he won a he's prize. A, he's, he's saying thank you, too, for that. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah, he did yeah. win last, yeah, last he won week. Yeah, last week. What's yeah. up, Keone? How's it? Um, yeah, they, him and his wife both got some tats from Hawaii. Um, thanks for watching, and yeah. I just want to say hi to Eric. He tuned in. He was the first winner of the sweater we gave. He just got his care package. Oh, sick. So, yeah. Yeah, so, it. you know, you we're just giving away a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. guys. So, uh, thanks. And... Uh, would you fin okay so i think that's it right yeah that's it that's it for the spear so back to the leg yeah real quick also what i want to say i want to show this on if you can go back to the other photo on the other side so this is has a lot of hawaiian um influence mm -hmm. on the front you see the nihomano or the triangles yeah. on the side you see the spearhead um and i want to just show an example real quick let me let me show an example. The spearhead that you see is like this.
And this is just a side note, guys. Has this isn't Marcasian, this is Hawaiian. Can we see that on the screen? Mm hmm Okay, so as you could see, right here, the spearhead is formed in a negative. So the skin is forming the actual spearhead. And right here, just be sure to kind of keep it open and don't connect it as far as space goes. So, uh, and this is for you designers out there or, you know, aspiring artists. So if you do a spearhead like this, uh -huh. and it's the Hawaiian style and you color it all in that's cool because it's the spearhead but if you do it the opposite way and you do the negative just be sure to keep that middle area open right here because that is forming the spearhead also don't close it yeah don't close it it needs to be open all the way through Okay, cool. real quick. So that's the Hawaiian spearhead. Okay. Um, now on the inside f picture of his, this guy's leg right here, you see the Marcasian cross right there? Yep. Boom. And that's, you know, again, this is just an idea to show you guys how the Marcasian cross can be used in different tattoos. And it's always different. And this is Polynesian. There's a lot of Hawaiian, Samoan. Uh, and Marcasian in this tattoo, so it's all different. Now this tattoo here, Polynesian design, this is the last one that we're gonna go through. Um, you could see on his shoulder area, mm -hmm. it's not really complete. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of the creative process of yeah. it. How he got his chest done and up here on his trap and then we added on to his half sleeve and it's kind of fresh so mm -hmm. i designed all this first and then we we dropped it down to his half sleeve that center piece right there is a cherry blossom i believe i think that was his japanese culture oh that's cool as part of it yeah um and there was like that's like his family sale and then um and then all around how you just implemented it all and this it's perfect mix yeah and and this is polynesian because it has samoan um, marcasian tahitian um designs all incorporated in it um here on the side you could see it kind of being designed so after i drew the front part i just went and designed this his whole half sleeve as you could see right mm -hmm. here and then this is what the end result looked like bam right there Ooh. But it's good to see the shading. Um, you see the difference in the shading? Traditionally, yep. they didn't have any shading or shadows. It was all black and, black. black and skin. Black and skin, that's it. Now you can create depth, and that's definitely not traditional. Mm -hmm. It's more artistic. And um, there's the, uh, the Marcasian cross up on his shoulder. Here on the back end, uh, you see it on the bottom. Would, would there be a reason for more than one or is it just... It, it depends on oh, his yeah, story, story and what we were doing for him. Okay. Um, this design on the back, he actually has a uh, manta ray on the tricep. Ooh. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Here's a... Is that a better view? I'm not sure. It's a good there's view. There's another view. No. Well, you could see it, right? Mm, yeah, you definitely see it. All right, so that um, those are just ideas how the Marcasian cross was kind of incorporated mm -hmm. into tattoos. And then, so right now, let's uh, go ahead. Do you have the last uh, raffle? Yeah, I have the last uh, giveaway. Got the, got the giveaway. But it's going to be this wonderful T-shirt Josh designed. Okay, so this last this last uh, giveaway that we're doing, it's going to be for this T-shirt. And again, throughout the show, we are going to. Um, I'm gonna, sorry, I was just reading the comment. Yeah, okay. I'm going to say the name. We're, and we're, we're going to do the comment right after. Yeah. But so the name I got was Tony Lee. Oh, Tony, congrats. Yeah, All congrats, right, Tony. Tony. All right. So, Tony, you got the uh, the T-shirt. You got the T-shirt. So Robert's going to be reaching out to all of you guys, mm -hmm. getting your address. Um, 
and letting you guys know what you want and everything. Maybe the size, you know, for the yeah. t-shirt and then uh, send that out. And that's going to be the giveaways. We do it throughout the show. And that's that's it for this yeah, show for, this for the show. giveaways. Yeah. But um, so I want to real quick answer Jo Jolenta. I think it's Jolenta. Mm -hmm. Jolenta asks, can you explain the differences between Hawaiian versus Marquesas Marquesas arrow for the temporary tattoo designs? Can you explain the one with the manta ray? Okay, so the Mar you said explain the difference be between Hawaiian versus Marquesas arrow. The Marquesas, um, the Marquesas arrow. I I showed. Let me show you some arrows here. So this is the Hawaiian. And you can create. Um, and I, I'm guessing this is what you were asking mm -hmm. as far as the arrow, because these are like spearheads, spearheads. Um, and then in Marquesas or Tahitian, you have. You have arrows that are like this or spearheads. Or it could be, you see how it's, um, this is really narrow. It could mm -hmm. be even like less narrow. Stretched out. Yeah. But again, there, there's so many different symbols, guys. So there, there's more than this. There, there's so much more. That was a great question, too. Um, as far as the temporary tattoos go, the, the manta ray could be... There's a there's a lot, you know, graceful um freedom. See this there's a Ikaika warrior helmet in the top. So any design that I do any design that I do on paper, there's no necessarily story for the person. Oh because yeah. it's a paper. But this particular one has a helmet in it. Uh, I'm poop, trying to look at poop. the screen at the I same time on the I'm board doing it. On your whiteboard. Oh, here. So this is straight. So right up here in this uh, manta ray, this this design was done for a T-shirt that I did for Ray Maluga. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if anyone knows that, but if you look up the first USC shirt, it was called Stingray. Uh -huh. And and right above this design, it said Stingray. And they're long gone now. They're oh, so yeah. rare. I mean, we they sold out like crazy. He's an older player, too. And this was a Trojan helmet. Oh. This used to be a Trojan helmet for the USC um, Trojans. Trojans. Yeah. And I took that out, and I put our our TAT um, Hawaiian helmet in this. So on the top, it says TAT, T-A-T. Oh, yeah. I see that. So if I break down this design right here, um, right here you have, like I said, the you know fighting spirit mm -hmm. warrior because it was for football. So I was like, yeah, you know, perseverance, and you just keep pushing forward. Um, and then right here, growth, like continuing mm -hmm. to grow in his career. Yeah. But again, this isn't for his life. This was just what I designed yeah. because it, I was inspired by doing a shirt for him. Um, and then right here is a foundation. So again, the the mat or the weave can represent foundation because mm -hmm. you stand on it. it you're grounded. And what about the um, these right here? Yeah, the. So this is Samoan right here, yeah. and it can represent. Um, I've seen it represent uh, Ivana. Okay. In the ocean, um, but what I I know it represents would be the tattoo, the tatau tools, mm -hmm. the hand tap tools which represents a uh, heritage and remembrance of it could obviously represent a tattoo artist. Yeah. Right. But it represents remembering the tradition of tattooing 
uh, when the Fijians brought it, brought the tools over, the sisters brought it yeah. over from Fiji and provided that knowledge to the Samoans, which uh, that's just that a legend would, and there could be show. different ways. Yeah. yeah. But again, it's just remembering his Samoan roots. That's why I put that in there. Um, and then the Stingray, obviously, because he he was the Stingray, Ray Maluga. Yeah. So kind of weird um, how one temporary tattoo could be have such a big history. That's, that's pretty deep. Because there's a lot of temporary tattoos. <laughs> and I've designed so many things in the past, and it's all over. It's There's so, so many different things everywhere, I guess. But anyways, there you go. Um, Jolenta, I hope yeah. that answered your question. Thank you for asking. That's yeah, awesome. th thanks for the questions, guys. And please share this show. If you know anyone that is aspiring to be a tattoo artist um, or is thinking about getting a Polynesian tattoos mm -hmm. or if you want to know more about the Polynesian culture and have questions or if you can share because we're all trying to learn. I have a question. And I, Shoot. I've, I've heard from other clients who've called in. Uh, do you do tattoos that aren't? I mean, you do tattoos that aren't Polynesian, but other cultures, would you be open to tattooing symbolisms from, say, a culture of, you know, the Vikings or if Indian? I'm, yeah. Or... If I'm asked, I I do. Mm -hmm. I've done Native American, Aztec. Mm -hmm. I, I've done others I can't think of, yeah. like, the name because I had to go research. I had to go and look. Oh, okay. and, but the thing is, guys, is... I'm not like an expert in those other cultures. I'm mm. not even in this. I, I just been doing this so long. Yeah. That this is the most that I know. And I'm passionate about this. Other cultures, I let them know like, hey, I, I don't really know the meanings and stuff. I'm going to go and look though because yeah. that's my responsibility. But I'm not, I can't dive into it so much. Um, But they, you know, they like my style and mm. the art. So I do my best. So yeah, I could do that. And then Joe D asked, do you have a uh, Guam designs? Um, can you look in that packet to see if there's any, I know there's a Guam seal in that packet. As far as Guam designs for tattoos, we do, everything's your own story. So we just create everything. But yeah, I've, I've done many tattoo tattoos that have, uh, Guam inspiration. I am tomorrow myself. So it's, uh, I like doing that. Oh, so there, I mean, we do have a temporary tattoo Guam seal, but as far as, and, and then T-shirts. If you go online, we have some Chamorro T-shirts. We also have too. the big decals of the Guan Guan Seal. Oh too. yeah, we haven't put those online yet, no. guys, because they're new. We just got them in, but we are gonna get them online. But we have different sizes of uh, decals, mm -hmm. good quality vinyl yeah. decals for your cars or wherever you want to put it. But we have the Guam Seal in two sizes, twelve inch and six inch. I think. I don't. Know. I think they're in the other other room. Yeah, we, we do some, have it though. Yeah. So stay tuned. The Check on ones. that. Yeah, they're nice. Um, oh, he said, can you show that? Oh, hello, Joe. How's it? Half a day. Um, so thanks for joining us, guys. Um, thanks for joining us. And if, again, if you have any questions, uh, let us know. Sorry about the background music. We got a bait. We, my daughter's here. Can we just show her? Yeah. Can we show her what we got going yeah. on? Yeah, can this is, this is how we do. This guys. is how we're doing this right now. This is, this is how we do. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got our, uh, hi. <laughs> Kiara, hi. <laughs> she wanted to be heard. We have to distract her. So, yeah, that's uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, Jody, we are we're located. a family, so that's what we do, you know. Real quick, Jody, we're located in San Diego, California. San Diego, California. Yes. And again, we're using this platform, guys, to reach as many people as we can around the world to perpetuate the Polynesian culture the correct way. We're not trying to steal anything. We're nope. not trying to um, bastardize traditions and everything. We're trying to keep it true and share with each other um, as a youth are coming up and our elders are passing away and our mm -hmm. ancestors knowledge has been lost already we have to try and keep it as, as in any way that we can and this is a way that we're just we're trying to um yeah. before as far as me you know i'm mm -hmm. i don't know how long i'll be tatting so well, <laughs> i'm I mean, kind of getting tired and that's, that's true because like you say it's not and it's not just polynesian it's it's you've teaching me to go deep into my own culture, to research my own. So that goes for everybody at home. You, if you're not Polynesian, if you're something else, dig deep in your own culture and research it. And you know, there's because we're all yeah, connected. We're all in the connected. end, we're all connected. And we did start a museum, mm -hmm. by the way. We have 
over 50 artifacts, you know, going from 17, 1800s. And the reason why is to see and hold artifacts from the past of different cultures Mm -hmm. and um, relate that to tattoos and our art and and understand our, our history and identity through those artifacts. So... If you guys are in the San Diego area, please come and take a look. Yeah, come I mean, by and say it's, hi. it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, we'd love to see you guys and share your guys' culture. I've seen so many different similarities, even from African, yeah, Huge. Uh, Egyptian, different cultures that it's so similar. And this is a way that we can unite and share yeah. instead of putting up like walls walls and labels and all these other things. And I personally only know Polynesian because I've been so passionate about that, but you know, yeah. you're Native American mm-hmm. and all of you out there is everything that you are. So we're all connected. We're all connected. All good. Unity. It's all good. All right, guys. So next week we'll see you guys. Maybe we might have a guest. We might have a guest. We'll oh, see. Nice. Uh, we, I hope so, but we'll see. That'd be cool. And, but regardless, we'll see you guys at six thirty next week. Please share, let everyone know. And, Uh, Send us some messages if you have any ideas. And we'll see you then. All righty. Later. Later.